So tonight, investigators in California still searching for an Oregon parolee who led police on a three and a half hour chase with his kids in an RV. Our Valina Jones digging deeper and you looked into this guy's past, mm -hmm. Valina, and you mm -hmm. found out authorities here have been looking for him for quite a while. That's right. For two years to be exact. Now, this all started early yesterday morning when Stephen Hawk got into a fight with his common law wife and mother of his children, threatening her with a gun and eventually kicked her out of their RV. This is the first lead in two years for Oregon authorities who have been searching for him. More than 24 hours after this 100 mile chase ended, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office is still looking for the man behind the wheel, 46 year old Stephen Houck. He was able to get away and just uh, avoid detection at this point. Houck is a registered sex offender in Oregon on parole for a sex crime in Lincoln County. <laughs> Detectives tried to arrest the father yesterday after they say he kidnapped his three year old and 11 month old and threatened to hurt one of the children. They knew they had kids in that in that uh, motorhome, and their tactics uh, changed to you know um, being able to stop it. And I think, in abundance of you know caution for the for the kids, uh, they chose to just kind of pursue it. Hopefully, he would run out of gas or just uh, you know give up. Video shows an officer in full SWAT gear rescuing one of the children from the abandoned RV. How sister claims. He's not a danger to anyone. I want the public to know that my brother is not a menace to society. He is not out to harm anyone. Court records show Hauk was sentenced in 2002 to eight years in prison for sodomy involving a child under the age of 12. Records also show he turned himself in, telling authorities, quote, he knows what he did was wrong and that he needs help. Investigators say he has a history of violating his parole. They've been searching for him for two years when they issued a warrant for his arrest after they say he disappeared. His sister says he refuses to go back. He called yesterday while I was at work and left a message and said, um, I'm being followed by the cops. This is probably the last time I will talk to you because he claims he will not be taken alive. He would prefer death by cop, have the cops shoot him, as to go back to prison. Now, Los Angeles detectives say House family members are not cooperating with the investigation, and authorities have no idea what mental state he is currently in. With his gun still unaccounted for, authorities consider him to be armed and dangerous. Thanks, Melissa.